This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles Data Tools, Lesson 8, Creating JavaScript Objects, Part 10, Displaying Contacts. In order to keep track of current contact to dis of the current contact to display, a variable called current index has been created. Oh, perfect. That makes sense. Var current index zero. Yep, right here. An event handler has been added, which changes this variable when you press the left or right arrow keys and make sure that the index is between zero and the length of the contacts in the array. Ah, so it can't go beyond our array, similar to the photo album project from before. Then it calls show current contact. If event.key equals equals left current index, so what this is doing is saying, hey computer, if event.key, so if there's a key pressed and that key pressed equals left, right, we're getting the key property from event, which is the parameter for the um, on event function. So if there's a being a key pressed and that key is left, take one away from our current index. So index minus minus, which is index is current value minus one. So now index equals whatever it used to minus one. And then current index equals wrap current index zero aha uh, contacts dot length show current contact and so wrap probably is a function if I'm remembering correctly that yep so wrap is a function that's going to give us if we are beyond the high value it wrap or, well it wraps us around to the low value if we're beyond the low value it would loop us back to the top so we'll be at the high so it just goes all the way around cool recall that if you have an array you can treat any index of the array like a variable to get a, to get at a property of an object in an array at the current index we can do this right so it's combining our our array access our array index um usage with dot notation do this let's make sure show current contact work your code from the previous exercise is provided perfect add code to the cur show current contact function that sets the text of the contact info to contacts current index dot name okay So here's our show, show current contact function. And what we want to do, like it just said, is that we want to set the text. So we're going to set the text of this, I believe. Contact info. Yeah, that's the idea it gave us. So we want to change that text. And what we want to change it to is, um, well, the text of, what's this? The text of the contact that we're currently on. So how could we do that? How could we get that? Well, you want to first tell it what to get, right? So, hey, what ID are, are you going to be attacking for us? Um, and name input, nah, we're going to need, oh, it is, hmm, name input. Nope, because we're not going to input a name. Contact info is what they said. Yep, we want the name to display there. Now, what do we want to display the name? How could we do that? Well, we're going to use the uh, dot notation with our array, contacts, okay, and then current. And the reason we can access current index and contacts is because they are global variables. Usually, you would want to pass these as a parameter. Um, but you don't have to right now because these are both global variables. And what I mean by that, let me show you. Just get rid of this extra space. What I mean by a global variable is instead of being declared within a function, if you declare a variable within a function, it's kind of just stuck in that function. But these variables way up here at the top, contact 2, contact 3, um, and then our, where is it, contacts array, these are accessible to every single function in the program and current index, which is why way down here, we don't need to pass them or have a parameter. We can just use contacts 
at the current index. So if we hit plus plus or minus minus, that would have changed as a result of other functions. And so all we're asking this one to do is saying, hey, grab contact info box, set it equal to whatever in our contacts array, grab that contact at this index, grab the name and set it to that. So all this is doing is pushing out that info. All right, let's see. But uh, I guess I should have. Oh no, that's fine. And but uh, <laughs> and and but uh, awesome. Let's uh keep going. 